Hey guys, Mike here. In this short video, we're going to talk about figuring out your level of attraction or allowing and using the 22 emotional set points, what they are, how they work, and how you can use them to consistently increase your level of allowing. So let's get into it. Okay guys, so I was going to shoot this video outside, but we've had some extremely cold weather these last few days. I really want to get this video done, so we're going to shoot it on the computer. So we're going to pop over my screen here. So what is your level of allowing? And what are the 22 emotional set points that dictate this? So here are the 22 emotional set points. Now they say the emotions have different frequencies, which is true. These are the different hertz of frequency that these emotions can be found at. But the fact of it is that your emotions are indicators of your vibrational frequency at that current point in time. So when you understand this, that your emotions indicate your alignment to your true self, and they're just a reflection of your current level of attraction, and the better you feel, the better your state of allowing is, the higher up this you go, the better you're going to feel, it's much easier to respond to each different emotion as you experience them. Now, when you're in absolute alignment with your true self or source or universe, however you may call it, it means you know the following. You know that you're free. You know that you're powerful. You know that you're good. You know that you are love. You know that you have value, that you have purpose, and that all is well. So when you're thinking thoughts that align with your true self, you're just going to feel better and you're going to feel this emotional relief. So what you need to do is you need to think of your emotions as a water pump. Now this water pump, the better you're feeling, the more pressure and the more power that this pump is going to have. Which also means the more flow of abundance it creates and has access to. But here's the thing, the worse you're feeling, the less power this pump has, and the even less flow of abundance or anything it can bring into your life at all. So, as I mentioned earlier, this is the 22 emotional set point scale. Since people feel differently about certain words than others, this is not 100% accurate for every person. But the important thing is to consciously reach for an emotion or feeling that is improved upon your current one wherever on this chart you may currently be. Now I'm gonna read an excerpt out of the book Ask and It Is Given off page 115 to help explain what it looks like going through this emotional set point process throughout the day through a situation. So something that's happened in your experience that makes you feel terrible. Nothing sounds good. Nothing feels good. It seems as if you're suffocating and each thought is equally painful. The best word to describe your nearly constant state of emotion is one of depression. Now if you could throw yourself into taking some action, you might feel better. If you could put what is bothering you out of your mind altogether and focus upon your work, you could feel better. There are many thoughts that you could entertain that could free you from your depression. However, vibrationally, you don't have access to most of them right now. But if your intention is to find a thought, any thought that feels better and you are consciously aware of how that thought feels, you can begin to move up the emotional guidance scale immediately. It is really a process of thinking a thought, any thought, and then consciously evaluating whether that new thought gives you any feeling of relief from where you currently are or the thought you have before. So you think and feel and think and feel with one intention only, to feel even the slightest bit of relief. Let's say someone did something to make you feel angry, or someone didn't keep their word. And as you focus upon this angry topic, you notice that you feel some relief from your depression. In other words, in the midst of this angry thought, you no longer have any trouble breathing. The feeling of claustrophobia is lifted, and you do feel slightly better. Now here's a crucial step in effectively utilizing the emotional guidance system. Stop and consciously acknowledge that your chosen thought of anger does feel better than the suffocating depression that it just replaced. And in that conscious recognition of your improved vibration, your feeling of powerlessness softens and you can now move your way up the emotional guidance scale back into full connection with who you are. See, when you're consciously aware of where you are and where you want to be, then you have the means to understand if you're pointed in the right direction. And when you know this, 
nothing can keep you unless you let it. See, the thing is, most of the lack of control that people feel is because they have no idea where they're headed. Without being consciously aware of your emotions and what they mean, you can usually stray away from what you really want to be. You see, all of these emotions break down to two kinds of emotions. A good feeling one and a bad feeling one. And the range of emotions are just increments from the good feeling of amazing and joyful feeling to the bad feeling of grief or depression. Now there is massive value when you deliberately cause even the slightest improvement in the way you feel. For every small increment increases your control. Now if a depressed person could consciously move their way into an angry thought, he or she would feel relief from their depression. But the goal isn't for that person to stay there. Because once they're vibrating at this place of anger, they now have access to the relieving thoughts of frustration doubt and worry for each level up provides relief from the level you were on before now it's hard for someone to move from depression to anger because of the backlash that they're going to face from the people around them responding to it now this is because anger is an outwardly expressed emotion affecting those around you but depression depression is an inward one only affecting the person feeling it but if they understood, and you did as well, that you were only planning to be there temporarily, for it gives you access to better relieving thoughts, people may be more receptive to your anger. But this usually ends up in a cycle where they go back to depression because of the criticism, then they go back to the angry feeling to relieve it, only to go back to the depression through the criticism, and the cycle continues between the two. The way you need to look at this throughout the day is right now I am going to feel the best feeling that I currently have access to, that I'm going to reach for relief, then more relief, then more relief. Because here's the thing, rage gives you relief from depression and grief, revenge gives you relief from rage, anger gives you relief from revenge, and blame gives you relief from anger, all the way up to joy, freedom, love, and appreciation. And how you feel reflects your point of attraction at your current time. This helps you constantly be aware of trying to be in a stronger state of allowing or well-being. Because the better the thought feels, the more you feel that feeling, the closer and faster it will come or is. Now the more you practice this chart, the more you will know if you're on the brink of manifestation or whether it's in its coming stages. You're going to enjoy the sensation of your conscious awareness when you are not at the vibrational match of your own desire and you will enjoy the sensation of deliberately bringing yourself back into vibrational alignment with your well-being and desire. You're going to enjoy sensing these things before they happen and watching them fall into place. You're going to feel this relief as the doubt slips away and as the secure feelings of well-being replace them. See, the universe exists to produce this new life desire within you. And when you go with the flow of your own desires, you will truly feel alive and you will truly live. So now I have some tricks and processes that you can use that can help you move from wherever you are to a better feeling of relief. There are 22 processes from the book Ask and It Is Given, and I'll be doing a separate video on each. To learn more about these processes or games that you can do, click the video in the top right or in the description below to go to the playlist and view them in order. Also, if you want a more in-depth guide of the emotional set point scale and how the law of attraction really works, I highly recommend reading this book by Jerry and Esther Hicks on the screen here asking it is given also listening to your wish is your command which you can find a link in the description or on a playlist on my channel now if you enjoyed this video like it comment below what your biggest takeaway from the video is and any questions you have don't forget to subscribe for more content like this and hit that notification bell to get it first this is mike i hope you have an abundant day happy attracting and i will see you on the next video peace Hey guys, Mike here, and thank you for watching my video. I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to even check it out. Subscribe below so you can join me. And together we can see the whole world. Like and share this video if you enjoyed it. 
comment below what you like the most and where I should go next. Hit those social media buttons. Go to createyourownfreedom.net so you can see more. I'll see you in the next video. I'll see you in the next country. I remember, guys. Love your life or... Take it!